If humans have been playing checkers, then OpenAI's O1 model just brought the chessboard, AI collaborating on complex problems, designing long-term strategies, and outperforming humans in critical industries. It's changing everything. Stick around, because by the end, you'll know what's hype, what's revolutionary, and what's truly AI dope. You know how we're always talking about AI making cat memes and writing those like kind of cheesy scripts? Well, ditch that idea because we're diving into some seriously next level AI. Yeah, it's a whole different ball game now. This isn't just about AI generating stuff for us anymore. It's about AI uh -huh. that can solve crazy complex problems, almost like it's actually like thinking for itself. It really is a pretty big deal what's happening right now with this OpenAI O1 model. Oh yeah. It's like a fundamental shift from AI just mimicking stuff to AI that can actually, like I said, solve problems. Okay, so give me an example. I gotta wrap my head around this. All right, so picture this. You got this supercomputer, right? Okay. And you give it this ridiculously hard math problem, like something that would make even Einstein scratch his head. Oh. The AI chews on it for a day or two maybe. Yeah. And bam, spits out the solution just like that. No way. That's the kind of power we're talking about with O1. So you're telling me this isn't just like making a cool beat or, or generating an album cover. We're talking about AI that could change everything, like medicine, engineering, climate change, all that stuff. Exactly. It's mind blowing when you think about the potential here. Give me an example. Okay. So like imagine researchers using O1 to go through tons of medical data and finding patterns that lead to brand new treatments years ahead of schedule. Oh. Or think about city planners using O1 to simulate like traffic flow in a crazy busy city yeah and coming up with ways to like totally fix traffic jams so it's like having a crystal ball but for solving real world problems it's not even sci-fi anymore this is the potential of o1 we're talking about this is huge for creators like anyone using ai for content this changes everything there's but. always a but right there's a but this power doesn't come cheap does it not a chance. Building and running these AI systems takes a crazy amount of power, computational power. Okay. The kind most of us can only dream of having on our laptops. Yeah, I can barely run my editing software sometimes. Exactly. It's like trying to power a rocket with a handful of AA batteries. Right, it's not going to happen. We're talking about massive server farms, specialized hardware, a whole new way of managing and distributing these resources. So basically, this tech needs its own power grid. Pretty much. So while we're busy geeking out over the latest AI, AI image generators, mm. the big players are already making their moves to control this new AI frontier. Oh yeah, they know whoever controls this technology, yeah. they're gonna have a massive advantage in the coming years. For sure, it's like the new space race, but for AI. Exactly, and it's not just about who has the fastest algorithms anymore, or the most data. It's about who has the resources to even turn the darn thing on. Exactly, who can build and sustain the infrastructure to power these AI behemoths. It's like having a Ferrari. Yeah. But nowhere to drive it, you know? Right. And imagine what O1 could do in the hands of like a huge company or a government with tons of resources. Hey, want our free AI dope top AI tools that we use? Chat below. It's our live Google Sheets packed with over 100 killer tools, video, music, photos, AI voices, productivity, script writing, YouTube hacks, captions, the works, always growing, live Google Sheet, always free. AI, dope top AI tools that we use. Download and chat below. Back to the show. Okay, so we've established that O1 is a total game changer, but how did OpenAI even get here? What's under the hood of this AI beast? Well, remember DeepMind's AlphaGo? The AI that mastered Go right. Right, think of O1 as its way smarter, more versatile cousin. Okay. OpenAI basically took the genius behind AlphaGo and mixed it with their existing language models. Oh, wow. They created this hybrid that's both crazy, powerful, analytically, and surprisingly good at communicating. So they basically Frankenstein the best of both worlds. In a way, yeah. It's like they took the strategic brilliance of a chess grandmaster, uh -huh. combined it with like the writing skills of a famous author, and then translated all of that into code. That's wild. It's a seriously impressive feat of engineering. It's like building a race car. Yeah. Right, but instead of a regular engine, you drop in a rocket engine. Exactly, you got so much power, but you got to figure out how to control it. Right, it's not just about going fast, it's about going fast without flying off the track. And that's where this idea of scaling laws comes in. It means the old rules of AI, they don't work anymore. Okay, so what you're saying is... We need a whole new playbook, new infrastructure, new hardware, new everything to unlock O1's true potential. So for all those people out there who thought they could just download O1 
and, you know, start cranking out scientific breakthroughs on their laptop. Yeah, good luck with that. Not going to happen. This is a whole different beast we're talking about. So this isn't like your grandma's AI. Not even close. This is like something else entirely. And it challenges this idea that to make AI better, you just got to make it bigger. You know, more data, yeah. more processing power. Right, just throw more computers at it. Exactly. Huh? With O1, it's not about that. It's about changing the whole game the way we approach AI architecture, how we design it. Yeah. So it's like instead of making a skyscraper taller, yeah. you're actually figuring out a way to build it sideways. It's a good analogy. This is probably why OpenAI is being so secretive about O1. Oh, absolutely. It's not just about, you know, protecting their invention. Right, it's bigger than that. It's about controlling something so powerful that it could change entire industries, even societies. Think about it. You find a gold mine, you know, go around telling everyone you know. Exactly. You keep it on the down low. This is way bigger than a gold mine. We're talking about a technology that can reshape the world. And for all the creators out there listening, this changes the game completely. Oh, yeah. It's not enough to just know how to use the latest AI image generator or music software. It's about understanding these reasoning AIs, how they work, how to talk to them, how to use their power to push your own creative limits. It's like going from finger painting right. to having a robot that understands art history and can mix you any color you can imagine. It's a whole new level of collaboration. Okay, so we've talked about how powerful O1 is and the challenges of actually using it. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. But let's get real here. What does all of this actually mean for us, you know, the everyday people using AI, the creators? Well, it means we're entering uncharted territory, you know? Like we're sailing off the map. The article we read said that humans might feel less and less equal to AI, and that's a big statement. Yeah, that's a bit unsettling. It's not about AI becoming our overlords or something like that. No, Terminator scenario here. But it's about realizing that AI is changing so fast. That we might not even recognize it soon. We're used to being at the top right, the problem solvers, the creators. But what happens when AI starts doing those things better than us? That's a great question. It really makes you think. You know, it's like a wild thought for sure. Like we've been top dog for so long. What happens when we're not? It is a little freaky, but also exciting. You know, yeah, I see that. it's like we've been playing checkers this whole time and suddenly AI walks up with a chessboard. And we don't even know the rules. Exactly. It's a whole new game and we're still figuring out the moves. But here's the thing. I don't think this is about AI taking over or replacing us. No, I agree. It's about AI working with us, helping us see things in new ways, solve problems we never could before. Think about it like telescopes, right? For centuries, they've helped us see farther into space understand the universe better. And AI is like that for our brains. Exactly. AI, like, oh, one, it's like a telescope for our minds. It helps us explore new ideas, new possibilities, things we never even imagine. It's like giving every scientist, every artist, every thinker a superpower. And that's what's so exciting about it. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible creatively, intellectually, in every way. And that's what AI DOPE is all about, right? Exploring these new frontiers using AI to amplify our own creativity. Absolutely. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, the article even said that we haven't even begun to tap into O1's full potential. Really? They're holding back. It's like we've discovered this new element, but we're still figuring out what we can do with it. The possibilities are endless. Exactly. So for everyone listening, what's the takeaway here? What should they do? I'd say first, buckle up, because the world of AI is about to get even crazier. Hold on tight. And second, don't be afraid to experiment to really push these new AI tools to their limits and see what you can create. Get out there and break some rules. Exactly. Embrace the unknown. Stay curious. And remember, the future of AI isn't something that's happening to us. It's something we're building together. Couldn't have said it better myself. And if you want another AI dope deep dive, check this next video and ask yourself, how lucky are we to live in these AI dope times? <laughs>